gang. Join us as we explore the employee tunnels, won't you? We uh, we found him in between episodes because... Because they, fuck that, I'm tired of looking for him. I think we were both pretty tired of trying to figure out where the hell they, they were, so... <laughs> here we are. I don't know why I'm bothering, I'm not an employee. Well... This is where I keep my employees. Spurtsworth has employees? Yeah, I own this park, remember? Oh yeah, I I'm guess. the big bad boss of this place. The overboss. Yeah. Overboss. Whatever other bosses there are, I am over them. Yeah, why are you out of costume? Out? Me? Yeah. Out of costume. Yep. Uh... I guess it must have fallen off the, uh, chicken wire housing that I built to keep it in place. Oh. Thank you. He's talking about how the, they use the, uh... They use the clown makeup to scare off new intruders to the park. Uh-huh. And you're just a, the latest intruder. Yeah, I mean, that's Whoa, essentially... Oh, God. Hmm. Quick save. Yeah. Oh. oh, no, he's talking to somebody. He's painting them. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Whoa, who's she? Aww. Well, now I'm going to feel just a little bit bad about killing him. No, you'll, you'll be fine. No, I'll kill him and I won't feel bad. I'll leave the ghouls alive. Oswald is a ghoul. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't talking to you at all. No, yeah, he's talking to his potato for person in there. Wow. You can't just call him potato people. Yes, I can. You have two crits, by the way, if you can get any percentage through that window. Oh, I can. Oh, it's just a painted ghoul, though. I was going to oh, use yeah. it on him. He vanished. He did indeed. Also, maybe don't Much stand to next my, to that yeah, thing. I just realized. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta explore the tunnels. Yep. Do we go that way or straight into the muck? Man, I don't know. The muck seems like a bad idea. It does seem like a bad idea. But I don't know if you have any other options, really. I do. I can go this way. You? Okay. I thought you just came from there. Nope. Oh, neat. I went in that room and then I went back There's out. There's a fusion so. core up there. Where? In there. Straight in there? ahead. Oh, never mind. That looked like the fusion core machine, but it's not. I was gonna say, how the fuck did you see that? The machines have a specific they, look. And yeah, that they lo did that look the same way. <clears throat> looks like a machine, but it wasn't. I mean, these, it is a machine, but it's not the machine. You know, these really are some actually rather nice tunnels. <laughs> Maybe Stimpak's in that thing underground? Hmm? What thing? There's a medical kit. <gasps> a medical kit! First aid. I'm like eagle-eyed today. Yeah, well done. <laughs> well, except one of the things you called out wasn't actually there, so... <laughs> Listen, you're super eagle-eyed, you see things that aren't there. I see, yeah. That's what's going on. I don't think I can fit this. Hmm, no problem. Confront him where? This is a metal door. Yeah. Why can't I just slam myself against it until it opens up? Check your map. Okay. You got a new mission. Confront Oswald the Outrageous. Yeah. But where? Oh, he said join me on the roof. So find your way to the roof. Yeah. I guess follow your waypoint. Yeah. There's probably an elevator. Excuse me? An elevator. Oh, an elevator. That's how it's pronounced. There's probably an elevator. Elevator. I see. Yeah. You know, like, if you want to, if you're on the ground floor and you want to get higher, you need to, to elevate a, yourself. Yeah. <laughs> elevate yourself. There yeah. it is. To celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself, Stan. <laughs> Master Cylinder! Master Cylinder! I that feel is like one of I'm... my favorite jokes from Frisky Dingo. <laughs> I, Sean, from our Ocarina episodes and also from Friendship. Yeah, I was going to say, um, yeah, I remember him. So I, that was for the viewers and not for you. I gotcha. think that there legitimately is a fusion core to your right now, though. Maybe on the other side of it. Are you like, are you like nope. The no, on the, other, on the other side of that. Oh. Uh, no. Mm, no, okay. They're just Two strikes, me. Will. Okay. Just I'm, saying. I'm not even going to call out the next one, and it'll actually be real. Yeah. <laughs> a teddy bear. Um, anyway, Sean sent me a clip from Frisky Dingo of, like, this is still true today, and it was Mr. Ford talking on, uh, like, a news program, and it's like, all Americans want is a cold beer, a warm pussy, <laughs> and a uh, and a, a place to shit with a door on it. <laughs> Some things never change. And then I had this real- Is this slanted water, or is this an optical illusion? It's an optical illusion. Okay. And then I had this terrible, terrible realization that we elected Xander Cruz as president. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 
<coughs> Cruz's main talking point even is immigration in that show. Oh god, you're right. With what with the, the passenger footbridge. Yeah, the pedestrian, pedestrian footbridge, footbridge to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just nah. There will be blooded this guy. Yeah, I saw that. Nice. Dude, what if you get Shigur's weapon in this game? Oh, the the cattle puncher. Yeah. I think that's caved in. I believe you are correct. I think you're going the right way, though, otherwise. It appears, against all odds, that you are correct. Not that it's unlikely that you, you'd be correct, but it's unlikely that I would be doing the right no, thing. No, I understood. Until okay. you corrected it, and then I thought that you were just trying to save face. No, 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 no. Tru truly, I was trying to be self-deprecating. I know, I'm just being shitty. I just wanted, you know, trying to be sensitive to your, to your sensitivity. Are you, calling me, are you calling me sensitive? Ah, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> Who's sensitive? I'm not sensitive! <laughs> I become a bulldog. <laughs> like the Beatles song. I, I, oh, hey, bulldog. I used to not like bulldogs because I thought they were ugly. Yeah, I've and, come around on them too. Yeah, now I still think they're ugly, but I like it. Yeah. Because they're adorable. They really are. And they've got us, like, French bulldogs especially. Well, French bull bulldogs were always cute. Yeah. They're goofy. I mean, like, English bulldogs. I see. The droopy Winston Churchill types. I like them, too. I like them all. I like all dogs. Except for... I don't like chihuahuas that much. Really? Yeah. What's wrong with chihuahuas? I, they just never appealed to me. I liked... Like, I've had friends with the chihuahuas, and I've liked their chihuahuas, Stop but... Right there. Yeah, chill out. Nice. You're good. You have 240 shots with that thing. I do? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. This explains some of our weight problem. <laughs> I mean, not my personal one, but that's it explains... <laughs> well, that's why I said I had to start using the thing again. Yeah. Okay, this situation's all been handled already. Yeah, you did this earlier. To the roof. You got it. You're gonna show him who's boss. You're goddamn right I am. Show him who's the you're king. Gonna, you're gonna do that, like, Popeye wind-up punch and just uppercut him. <laughs> Bing! Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> fly up to the top of a pole, like... <laughs> ding! And come back down. I think we were talking yesterday at a at a at a Thanksgiving party we were at. Yep. Um, about doing a gritty reboot of Popeye. <laughs> and the main idea, and this is as far as we've gotten so far, no one steal this because I'm in the middle of copywriting it. <laughs> the paperwork is in the mail. Um, but it's Popeye, but like 30 years in the future, and he's like a grizzled old man. Yep. And the, it's a world without spinach. Yeah. So, like, he has a to figure out how to, to operate in a world where spinach has gone extinct. <laughs> and he's got, like, maybe two or three cans left, and he has to save them for the right moment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, then, yeah, there'll be a moment where he's got two great needs to choose from, and only one can of spinach left. Yep. Like, olive oil and sweet pea are both in dangerous. <laughs> in dangerous. <laughs> in danger. I'm, I want to make that movie really badly. So, here's what I need to know. Yeah. Um... What was it? I don't know. Is it is it something at, where at the end we find out that he didn't need the spinach at all, or he really does need the spinach? No, I like that. I like that. I think you need to keep intact the idea that Popeye is a superhero that he, when he has spinach. Yeah. Because the, the, that's important to the whole. Can't, yeah, it can't be a he had the power inside of him the whole time situation. Uh huh. For Popeye, I don't yeah. want that. There's too much backstory established. I think what he needs to do is he needs to find a way to bring spinach back to the world. That's what it is. Because he's, he, that's what he's trying to do. That's why he's isolated. He's yeah. like the old grizzled man farming out in the wilderness like old man Logan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I am 100% on board and with this shit. And what is like, I mean, Bluto has to have a position of authority, too. That's got to... He's probably the head of a company or something. Yeah. And he's been, he's, he's like the head of Monsanto. What is this, Cyberpunk Popeye? <laughs> yeah, Cyber Popeye. Uh, yeah. I, I could not... I cannot overstate how on board I am with this idea. James Spader can be Popeye. James Spader? <laughs> okay, you're, you're starting to lose me all of a sudden. <laughs> what the hell? I'm kidding. James Spader, take this seriously, Will. I'm this is, sorry. This is our life savings we're talking about. Oh, we're putting our whole life savings well, into this? you are. I'm not using mine. Okay. Too much of a gamble. This is a bathroom. It was. It's typically not stairs to the roof in there. I don't know who designed this building. Maybe it's a Frank Gehry joint. Oh, God damn it, Frank Gehry. <laughs> my, my architectural nemesis. <laughs> yeah, you're... How do I get up there? Didn't I get nemesis. up there once already? Yeah, from the, the back of the stage. The back of the stage. I thought I... Did I just miss the entrance? You might have. I did. I did. I was a damn fool. Is that it right there? It says it is. 
Oh, yeah. So it does. Oh, it's an elevator. An uh, elevator. Yeah. Well, let me just elevate myself. I'm a dog! Get in the elevator, dog. The elevator. So someone was talking about... You know, you can you can miss dog meat, right? Huh? You can miss dog meat in this game. You oh, can, you mean just go through and never even get him? Yeah. Until the mission in Diamond City when you're with Nick Valentine and you have to chase down Kellogg by using dog meat to smell him out. Oh, yeah. So if you get to that point and you haven't met dog meat... He then, just shows up. He No, Nick Valentine knows who dog meat is already. <laughs> like he's an associate? Yeah, exactly. That is 100% how it is. <laughs> and he's like, hold on, I've got someone who knows how to deal with situations like this. And then he blows a dog whistle and dog meat shows up. He's like, hey, this is dog meat. He's going to help us get to this place. <laughs> dog meat hands you a card. He's kind of cool looking, actually. For a ghoul. Is he brown with green or green with brown? He's brown with green. Okay. Uh... End without bloodshed. Should you go straight to it? Dude, yeah. Okay. I'm not your enemy. I'm not your enemy! This can end without a bloodshed! Whatever it is in your veins, I'll shed that instead! Over 200 years. <clears throat> you think you are the first outsider hmm. I've what a, Hold on a second. All of you motherfucking potato people attacked me on sight. That's true. I just strolled in here in a suit of power armor with a motorized junk launcher. He's, uh, well, he's not wrong about this either. Your mission was to come here and clear them all out. That's true. Just, mm. just leave. I think that's that would be saying it to him. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, just get out of here. Oh, they were here when the bombs fell. Holy shit. Wow. I guess that makes sense. We decided to make this place our home. The rent was cheap. I wonder if you're going to get his sword. <laughs> After I inevitably slay him. Yeah. It's not that I don't think that you can end this amicably. I just don't think it's going to be an option. Mm hmm I don't know. I'm a pretty charismatic fellow. I know. I just don't think it's going to give it to you. There's no point in arguing anymore. <laughs> just leave. Perhaps I would leave. But I, I made a promise, promise to keep this place safe until my Rachel finds oh, the cure. Oh, shit. It's like a Dr. Freeze situation. Exactly. My beloved left this place years ago Dude, to she's find dead. the cure to she's this dead. disease. I swore I'd keep our people safe by defending our home. You gotta get that. And as I a, just like accidentally ran over her on the way over. Or you something. have to get that as a Christmas. No, the bombs fell two hundred years ago. The only reason they're so alive is because they're ghouls. Yeah, Rachel's not gonna be alive. Well, maybe she was already a ghoul. Uh -huh. Or else, well, I mean, he's not. Mm, There's no cure. There is no cure, right? I don't think so. Uh oh, the, the sky is darkening. Well, I get they're both, they're both red. I don't. I try it. Which one? Either. I would go for There's No Cure. Or I'd uh, go help her. Go help her! Alright, let's see. Come on, Spurs. For yeah! I'll find her and we'll search for this cure together. I'll gather what remains of my friends, which I don't mean to refer to the individuals, but literally the remains of them after you've blown them all away. Yeah, I think you killed all of them. With household items and implements. Here, you should have it is. It's the it's the sword for sure. Yeah. You did misjudge me, sir. You misjudged me mightily. Wow. Uh, you should equip that. I most certainly. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I thought he was gonna <gasps> fight you. Ready for fisticuffs, huh? You should put on that top hat. Like this. Ten years ago. Is awesome. Well, first of all, a uh, bloop. It's it's oh, well, that was it's wrong broken. Yeah, yeah, you had the Coast Guard hat okay. on. Uh, Oswald's top hat. Yes, please. It actually has some damage resistance. Does it? Yeah. And fashion resistance. Sword of Wonders. It ignores damage resistance. Are you ready, folks? I am. What ho? Nice. <laughs> what ho, I say! Let no man stand before the ultimate fancy pants! Well, now you gotta get to that... Out that door there. That... Out here? Yeah. Okay. And then you raise the flag and you let the... the, the oh, yeah, of course. Not the disciples. The other ones. But they're the last ones, aren't they? Or no, we're giving them the space station. I forget the who operators. The, the operators, operators are, the, are the actors. Yeah, give it to them. We haven't okay. given them one yet. Congratulations, guys. Sweet. You've got a kid. This is probably the right one for them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, we did it. We, oh. were, we, we made out like a bandit on this one. You know what time it is. What time is it? 
Time to go back to the cosmic zone with a level. Oh, almost a level up. Oh yeah, we're really close. Okay. I would just fast travel there. I was just gonna do that. Yeah. I'm slowly learning. It's fine. Dry rock gold south. Oh, it's south. Yeah. Ah, there it is. So I should just drop right into the middle. Yeah, and I'd turn it on, turn on your waypoint because you got to find the star cores. Right. But oh, you're a higher level it. now, so I'm hoping that maybe these things won't just instantly murder you. Yeah, hopefully. And you've got your power armor. Last time we did this, you didn't have your power armor yet. Oh. oh. Well, yes, that will definitely make things easier. Certainly. I'm very excited that we finished Kitty Kingdom. It felt like that took forever. Yeah, yeah, it did. I don't know why. I did enjoy wandering around blasting away ghouls, though. Yeah. They were, they were satisfying to murder. I mean, defeat. <laughs> yeah. Either way. For, for justice. So... What are you, I mean, what's your goal after we give the park to all the bandits? I don't know. I don't know what I'll be presented with. Hmm. Oh, that's true. I forget that you, oh. Wow, this place looks oh. like shit. <laughs> Tiana Alston, why is she named? I don't know. That's just traitor. That's just traitor. Okay, well, let me get, get to the bottom of this situation. Yeah, figure out your waypoints. Oops. Okay, let's see. Star control. Yep. Uh, how many do I need to get? Oh, 20. Um, it says 20. To secure the zone, I need to locate 20. Or destroy all of the robots and defenses. Aha. Sweet. I guess we'll just wander in and start doing, right? Yeah, just follow your... Well, there's... A bunch of them are not even within places. You can see on your map that you don't have any of the go inside here right. icons. Oh, yeah, they're just out and about. Yeah. So I don't think I want to use the sword right no, now. No, I would not. What should I use? Your junk jet. St keep with the junk jet for now? Yeah, you've got 240 shots with it, and you are close to getting over encumbered. Okay, good point. It just doesn't do that much but damage. But this, this is interesting to find out, though, that there are a limited amount of robots in here. Yes, most definitely. That's information that I'm glad to receive. What the fuck? You're, like, stuck on something? Yeah, it's... Stuck on something that isn't there. Stuck on Bethesda. <laughs> oh, Bethesda, we love you. But we love to mock you as well. Yeah. Wasn't this thing really easy to get? We haven't done it. Yeah, but we looked it up. We didn't do it. But we looked it up and we're no, like, we oh, that was really the, easy. We looked up the other one. Oh. But we don't have the... Yeah, see what the deal is here. Hmm. You have more star cores than one. I've seen you picked it. You have to install some. Right. So start installing the ones that you have. Okay. Which are, you know, all those little spinning data tape things. I'm pretty sure. These things? I thought so. That is a star core. Correct. Oh, try uh, like right there? Yeah. There we go. So just find those and start installing them. You've got more than... Oh, yeah. So we don't know how many I've actually picked right. up. I see. What There's, there were a couple more sitting right there. Huh? You've, you're passing over a ton of them. I better go first person for this. Yeah. It's hard to look at them. That, those are all them. Those. There we go. Okay. Yeah. There's one right there. <laughs> I'll just I'll take that. You might be out. Okay, now, now I'm out. Yeah. Okay. You got a legendary protector, protector on Guardian. Great. Fantastic. I think you'd probably get into that one from above. Probably. All right. Where is this asshole? Um. Hey, asshole. Where Hi. are you? I'm just vatsing furiously. I don't know. Did you want to find out how to get that... Armor? Yeah. Oh, no, I thought we already knew. I thought maybe you remembered. No, it required having a high hacking ability. Oh, well then. Which I don't have. Mm-hmm. What, what incendiary delights do I have on me? Just a Molotov cocktail, huh? That'll get the job done. Maybe. Ow. Excuse me. Got a crit. Yeah, look how little damage it does, though. The head may not be its weak point. True, so I don't want to waste it. See if I can get to the back and hit him in the combat inhibitor. Ah! Or... Doing okay? I'm doing quite well, yeah. I look away for it's exactly. No, 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 this is exactly what my plan was. I look away for two seconds. 
and you fling yourself down the scaffolding. Oh no! What? This. Oh well. Huh. The big problem was that those those soda spraying. Whoa. Those, I don't know what happened. Oh yeah, now I know what happened. Those soda spraying ones, the defenders. Yeah, they were ratting you. Mm-hmm. Like crazy. Oh, a frag mine. Devious. Getting crafty. <laughs> Who's doing that? No, not the frag mine. Uh, to get that power armor, you need to get all 35 star cores. Oh, well, fuck that. Yep. It looks cool, though. It does look cool. And so it shall remain. Looking cool on into eternity. I mean, if you feel you'd do better with a different weapon, you don't need to stick with the junk jet. Oh, Got hey. one. Level up, too. Perfect. Ow. Uh... That does nothing. I gotta get behind these fuckers. Yeah, that's probably true. That was probably not the greatest way to go about that, though. Definitely not. That'll do, though. For now. Uh, it looks like their legs take more damage than their head does, unless it's exposed. Really? Which, yeah. His head is exposed, though, so you might be able to... There you go. Just like their their limbs seem to take more damage than their head because of the, the dome on it. Okay. Grim Reaper Sprint. Uh, oh, yeah, that does much better. Yeah. Flomp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To the depths with ye. And you. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're out. See, I always forget how useful it can be targeting um, specific limbs. Yes. Like, this, this asshole's limping along now. Can you destroy his fucking nuke cannon on his left arm? It's a good, or right arm? good plan. Not yet. <laughs> He's almost dead. Yeah. Swamp. <laughs> oh, Cheat shit! You did it. Maybe do a quick save. Okay, I will do that. Oh, wait, no, I don't, <laughs> don't want to give him my shit. <laughs> hey, you want this stuff? Sweet. Okay. Well, we'll be back on the next episode. Oh, already? Yeah. God, time just flies they when you're negotiating with ghoul magicians. I think, yeah, that's how that adage goes. <laughs> it's a time-honored saying. <clears throat> All right, next time. See you guys next time. Bye.